the wedding between Sanji and Pudding needs to happen. Okay, so One Piece chapter 827 review. Um, this was a pretty good chapter. I relatively enjoyed it. For the first time ever, we got to see Big Mom's, like, folded eye. We got to see her character not just in shadows, and it looked really cool. This is definitely the versus for Yoko arc. The like we're seeing the Yoko constantly. In fact, I'm starting to become less hyped over seeing them. Now, I'm definitely still hyped to see them fight, but just visually seeing them is becoming more of a norm, which is good. That means we're getting closer to the point where the Yoko are more of a normal thing, kind of like the Admirals are starting to become a normal thing. They're not some rare, gigantic, like, chapter being a 10 out of 10 perfect big deal anymore. But, yeah, let's actually talk about the chapter and what I thought about all the things that happened and why I think Pudding and Sanji need to happen just because. Now, to start off with this chapter, Pudding is amazing. I love Pudding. She is awesome. Great character. Great, great, great character. Really like her. She seems like a genuinely nice girl. Now, this could turn out to be incorrect. It could turn out to be a total bitch that is just working for Big Mom. But then again, Big Mom seems to be a, a pretty good person based off of this chapter. I mean, I could be wrong. Big Mom could turn out to be a terrible, terrible person. But let's think about this for a minute. So Big Mom's goal is to create a utopia that has no discrimination, no segregation, and no prejudice in it. That is a genuinely good goal. Now, this could lead to her allying herself with Luffy, maybe. However, Luffy did pick a fight with her, and she is still one of the Yonko, so it would look very bad if she didn't accept Luffy's challenge, and instead allied herself with him, that wouldn't look very good. I don't know if Big Mom would want to make herself look weak, because then another one of the Yonko, like Kaido, Blackbeard, or Shank, could attack her. Not that Shank would ever attack somebody just to the hell of it, but you see the point. Now, Pudding should get with Sandy just because Sandy deserves a woman like her. I don't, th I don't think it's get getting a little old to see Sandy get trolled by with the women constantly, like being forced to be around the women, but never getting to get what he wants out of it. I'm getting really old, so I feel like giving him a relationship would kind of solve that. But it would also ruin Sanji's gag, or maybe you could change the gag, like make it so he like is always resisting urges to freak out over beautiful women. Women, I'm not really sure how you could do it, but it would be really, really cool if you could somehow work something like that out, Oda. But now let's talk about the what about the one female and two male character we saw in this chapter. So we got to see a female character holding a sword above, and there appeared to be a ton of defeated enemies there, and another sword behind her. She appeared to be wearing some kind of odd-shaped hat. At least I think that's a hat. And she is definitely female. I can tell that for sure. Uh, we see some other man with like a top hat, and I... I don't really know that his fighting style. And I'm not the other guy is causing the fruit. I can see some defeated bodies around him and the other, both of the other guys. But I can't really tell what their fighting style is. Because all you I can't really tell where they are. But yeah, these characters are most likely but a decorative. Not being a decorative, but like the hot shots, the ones at the very top. They're kind of like Big Mom, Marco, Vista. You know, Yozu, I bet like the commander. Her the commander, the really, really strong, high up members of the crew. Probably most of them are like original founding member, probably. We need to have at least one of those. Big Mom can't just start a crew by herself, of course. But let's move on to the next thing I want to discuss. Seeing the straw hats meeting pudding for the first time look really nice. I was a little disappointed they couldn't piece to get Nami, we wasn't able to piece together that, that this girl could possibly be the one Sanji was to marry, considering the timing and the fact that the police officer were talking about the wedding. You know, I was a little disappointed in that, but whatever. Now, at the very end of the chapter, well, I'll talk about that at the end of the review. 
So yeah, the straw hats and pudding will probably become friends, and that will lead into how the whole wedding with Sanji goes down, I hope. I hope Pudding is a generally good person. The so moving on, uh, I do want to talk about the fact that I feel like the comedy in this chapter was 10 out of 10. I laughed a lot. If you want to see my, like, my reaction and stuff, go check out my live reaction from a couple hours ago. That was really good. The comedy was great. I was laughing my ass off. But yeah, there wasn't much more to it. Nami got a new outfit. Now, I do want to point out, it does look like an outfit she could physically fight in. It's like her old outfit was kind of like very long and like kind of like a dream. It was like a long like, like it kind of I couldn't tell if it was the dress or a kimono. It was like something like it looked like a mink outfit. It was like a mink outfit, but it would it looked like something he probably wouldn't have been able to fight in. So this outfit looked like you you'd be able to maneuver in this. So that will obviously even hint even more toward the fact that Nami is going to be getting a fight this arc. Which, yeah, 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 we need a Nami fight. I kind of enjoy Nami fights. I feel like they're not only the greatest, but they are pretty entertaining in my opinion. They're funny, they got some good fan service, and I'm a, and I'm, hey, I'm a guy. Cut me some slack. <laughs> no, but really. But, I mean, it was a good chapter. I mean, if I had to rate it, I would rate it, like... I, knew I would give the chapter a 5 out of 5. I don't think it was perfect. It was, it was funny, a good, a good comedy, good character interaction, good story progression. It introduced a couple of characters to each other that we really needed to meet. But above all else, we got to see Big Mom's personality and her attitude really up close. We got to see a really close... We almost got a full design of her, which looked really nice. But out of everything, you know what the big part of it was? We found out that Big Mom is aware that Luffy is on the island, so I am very hyped to see where that goes. She is aware he's on the island, so, so she may end up confronting him. Maybe a little, she's waiting for them at the wedding. She also is aware that Sanji has arrived, but, and the things of the wedding is being prepared, and just, I'm very excited for next week's chapter of One Piece. If I had to rate the chapter, I'd give it a 5 out of 5. Tell me your thoughts on the chapter in the comment section down below. And remember to like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. And guys, above all else, have a great day.